Hello and welcome back to the farm. We're in July and the canola is ready to be harvested. Nice, but we do have one slight issue and that is the weather forecast saying there will be rain at around 11 and 12, but then sunshine the rest of the day. So that's nice. So we're going to get to harvesting and if it starts raining, I don't know if we will be able to continue harvesting, but if not, we will just, uh, I guess, sit in our hut and play uh, Minecraft or something. I, I guess that will work. We have got... Oh. Hmm. Anyways, we of course also have animals now. Uh, right. The chickens need some food. The sheep we gave them in the last episode. So yeah, we got sheep if you didn't watch the last episode. So we now have chickens and we now have sheep. Bah. Okay. Uh, I am going to... Uh, do a tip that I that that I got which is to instead of equipping the trailer and filling it up with grain uh, what, what do we feed the chickens again barley right or something like that anyway instead of equipping the trailer for that I can equip the bucket and just use the bucket I think that would work the weaker is a bit in the way can we push it maybe a bit yep there we go that's fine. It's fine. Nice. So I think I might just be able to fill up in the bucket. We'll have to see if this actually works. I mean, I would think it does. Oh, yeah. It does. Cool. Yeah, because they really don't need much. Like, at all. They need less than a full bucket load. So this really should make things easy. So just offload that there. And the chickens will be happy. Nice. And we have half a pallet of eggs, which is really exciting. Can't wait till we can start selling that. Uh, of course, we also have bees now. We have so many things now. All of a sudden, things have been. It's been difficult getting here, but now we're all of a sudden here, and things are good. All right, I'm going to actually put this probably over here by the animal place because this is probably where I'm going to be. Uh, no, that's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to take this off. There we go. Right, I am going to well hop into the harvester and but oh dear me some uneven terrain <laughs> uh yeah i'm gonna equip the trailer we probably won't need it for the first bit but there we go turn off the tractor now with canola i don't think you can actually get straw or anything like that so Yeah, that's gonna be interesting. Well, I guess that's a that's a way for us to finally be able to do some mulching again. I guess that'll be cool. All right, here we are. Turn this machine on, and we are harvesting. Oh, it does spread it like that. Hmm. Is that then going to apply a stage of fertilizer? Let's take a quick look at the map. That might apply as fertilizer. I don't think we can make bales out of it though. Uh, yeah, looks like it does apply as fertilizer. Hmm. Nice. Can I then turn it into bales? Because I would want to make bales if I can. Oh. Gotcha. <laughs> I can't. I don't have a choice, apparently. All right, that's cool, too. All right, well. We're housing canola, guys. Finally. All right, well, I'm going to get this field harvested, and I'll meet you at the end of it. This really shouldn't take long with this header size. Be right back.
All right, we are almost done with this field. So I think out of this field we got around 6,000 or 7,000 liters. That's actually not too bad. I will consider that a success. And I forgot to check the honey. We'll, uh, we'll check that after this. And it looks like we might just finish this field before the rain hits us. I believe it was between... it was going to start at 11. So... We will have to see what happens then. I did forget for quite a while to up the time to times 5, so I did put it to 15 plus. We have been finishing really early in all the other episodes, so... I do want the time to progress a little bit more, so might start to put it at like 10 or 6 per episode, we'll have to see. Now, can I fit this in? Yes. Sweet. And empty. Nice. Let's take this over to the other field, but first... How does this look? Huh. Why is there blue around here? On the grass? <laughs> Where I haven't actually been? It says it here as well, and here. And here. And here as well. I'm very confused. Why is it fertilized on the grass area? Oh! Is that where I have been cutting the grass? How does that make sense? Because I haven't been down... I don't know. Oh! Nice. It's raining, so I don't think we will be able to harvest it rain, even if we will. I think I will fast forward a bit, because... Yeah, the rain probably won't make the video look that great. <laughs> and there's thundering and everything. Nice. I love it. I wish the chickens had some sort of roof, even in the smallest pen here. But, uh... They don't, apparently. Alright, there's bridge and here is the field I wonder if I was saying reduces the yield okay yeah we definitely don't want that so we'll turn off the tractor or the harvester we'll get this put in the silo um, and yeah I guess we will be able to mulch this so I guess we need to lease a mulcher I guess I can look at that in the <laughs> in the hut while we wait for the for the rain to disappear but first, let's get this in the silo so it doesn't get wet. Here we are. And I don't know when the right time is to sell canola. I guess we can have a quick look. Canola. November. Okay, that's actually not too far away. That's actually not too far away. Nice. All right. The trailer's empty, I'll put it back to near the harvester, and we'll go, well, have a little bit of a nap. Oh, look at that. We got a full honey pellet. I will toggle super strength just to move this thing. There we go, will another one spawn? Oh, so we have 400 liters per pellet, okay. Yep, there we go, nice. Sweet. We got productions up and running. Very cool. All right, I'll put the tractor here. And uh, I'll go look at, at mulches, I guess. All right, so we actually got a few options here. This one requires 150 horsepower and has almost a 6 meter working width. Uh, this is a little bit cheaper, less horsepower and a little bit less working width. Of course, one of the biggest working widths this is 200 horsepower. Yeah, this looks very, very nice. This would be very nice to have. I just don't know if our tractor would be able to actually pull it. It probably could. But it's such a small difference. This might as well be the one we get. I'm not going to buy it because, well, that would just be a waste, I think. But I'm not going to buy it just yet. I will take a quick nap and I'll be right back when we're going to continue the harvest. It's 1 p.m. The sun is getting through and the rain should stop in a moment 
Yep, it's definitely clearing up. The rain has stopped and we can continue the harvest. Nice. Beautiful. Harvesting is going well. We're just about halfway with these two fields and then it's done. Pretty much anyway. There we go. Yeah, we're pretty much halfway with this field. Would be nice to get that other field up there as well so we can combine that with that. Now in terms of what we actually got to put in the ground for next year, I don't know. I actually don't... I don't know yet. I'm still thinking on it. I'm, th I'm thinking something cool would maybe be to maybe do corn, sunflower, something like that. We would require... we, we would need to lease a planter. Preferably one that can direct plant, but we might not have the horsepower for that. Um, but, yeah, I guess we would, uh, hmm. I guess we'll have to see. Because we don't, uh, we no longer need the, uh, to do the cultivating. So, it is basically just harvest, put in new crop, and there we go. So, yeah. I'll have to decide fairly soon. Another option would be to put in grass. First of all, we would get grass for the sheep, but also we could try and make silage, which does give quite a lot of money, so that is a possibility. Hmm. A lot of options are available. We could actually do this field as grass, field 47, I believe it's called. We could do that field or this field as grass, because it's pretty big, would be suited for grass work, I think anyway. Hmm, could maybe make a few, quite a few bales. Yeah, I don't know if I want to put grass in yet. I guess I have some time to decide. We are, however, almost done with the harvesting. One more pass, then I'll batch over there and we will be done. In fact, I might run out of space before I reach the top here. Oh boy, it's gonna be close. Good news. Well, good and bad news, I guess. We're not full. Right at the edge here, so we don't have to worry about that, but also bad news when not full. If I had been full, of course, I would have meant more canola, but it would have also meant having to empty the tank at an annoying time, <laughs> right when you're missing the final bit. Alright, out with the ogre. Let us get this lot into the trailer and then get that final batch over there. The patch. Ten thousand liters of canola. 
not bad. 13,298 liters. I'm gonna go ahead and put the tractor over here. Now, one thing I have been thinking about. We do have some options with the canola. We can either sell it just as is, or we could think of getting the oil production, which means we would be able to produce canola oil and then sell that for a better price. And I'm not sure what I want to do here because the, the oil production is like $50,000 at least. Maybe 80,000 or 100,000, which eh, that's a bit much considering we only have maybe max 20,000 liters of canola. We wouldn't be able to make that much oil and certainly not make that money back off one batch. Then it would have to be if we got the olive grove as well, or we knew we would continue with canola and whatnot, which I don't think I want to do. I want to do some variety stuff. So, yeah. Probably for us anyway wouldn't exactly be worth it, but the option is there final spot and we're done Nice actually there's one tiny bit I missed over here Which of course I will get Every little bit counts And now we're done sweet Empty the final piece. Poker in. Get in the tractor and let's put this in the silo. Blah, blah, blah. Let's put this in the silo and let's see how much we got from today's harvest. While the trailer unloads, I will go ahead and put this harvester away. And we won't be needing this probably for another year or so. Perfect. And this is done, so let's see how many liters of canola we now have. 20,685. Love it. So we'll be able to sell that in around November time. Uh, our letters will also, will be February. We do have a pretty good price though, so we could sell it, but that would of course be a waste if we could get 300 extra dollars per pallet. So overall, not too bad. I will actually just quickly check their water supply. They have 3000 liters of water. Yep, about half. So that is something we will have to do in the next episode. They need more water just so they don't run out again. All right. Trailer is in position. Tractor can stay here. And I want to look at what we can potentially put in the ground next. Of course we want to put in a layer of oilseed radish to get that extra fertilization, but other than that, what do we then want to put in? We could put in canola again, but that would be a little bit repetitive. We could also put in barley or wheat, or we could wait quite a while and we would be able to put in either oats or corn or sunflowers. Corn and sunflowers does speak to me a bit. Don't really want to do potatoes or sugar beets because they do require quite a bit of work, I think. And we, of course, have sorghum as an option. How much would we be able to get from sunflowers or corn, I wonder? So it looks like sunflowers are at a 1,500 and corn... Ooh, <laughs> not that great uh, compared to things like wheat, barley. Okay, I guess sunflowers are a little bit worth more. Hmm. Soybeans. Whoa. Soybeans seem to be at a pretty good price. We can put those in in April. Hmm. I'll have to do a thing on it, but I think we are probably going to settle for soybeans because they seem like they are go for a pretty good price. So. Yeah, I think soybeans it is. However, again, I might want to put grass in one of the fields. I don't know which one it should be. But it should probably be either field 47 or 48. 
and they have not landed anything in 49 and 50 or 51 so i can't buy any of those just yet unfortunately but guys i think that's going to do it for this episode i just want to quickly make sure i haven't missed anything this would be really nice but of course we don't have the money for it unfortunately but yeah that's gonna do it for this episode really hope you have enjoyed and i hope to see you in the next one have a wonderful wonderful day and goodbye